Well, hello everybody. Scoob is finally out. You have no idea. How I've been waiting for this for four years. I remember it was announced, I don't know how long ago, but in like 2016, it was supposed to come out in 2018. But then the delay happened. I'm like, come on, bro. This sucks. Does this movie live up to my expectations? I expect it good. Or does it, is it a bad Scooby snack? You're about to find out, man. I like to think that Scooby-Doo, the characters in Scooby-Doo, they can work in any any situation you put them in. You know, a lot of, a lot of people didn't like this one because it didn't feel like a mystery. And I can, I can understand that. But, uh, you know, a lot of people like Scooby-Doo and Ghoul School. And where's the mystery in that? And a reluctant werewolf. There's like no mystery there. Or not really. But, uh... This one is more of a superhero uh, blockbuster, and it uh, starts up the Hanna-Barbera Cinematic Universe, which I'm super hyped for. Like, I grew up with this Hanna-Barbera stuff. Like, I even watched Boomerang all the time. It was like my first channel I ever watched. I remember watching uh, all the old Scooby-Doo Where Are You episodes. I watched Tom and Jerry, and I watched, um, what did I watch? I watched the Flintstones, Jetsons, anything on there you name it I've watched it so I'm familiar with most of these people in this movie like uh, Dino Mutt and Blue Falcon and Captain Caveman and Dee Dee's guys I'm familiar with all these people so I've watched them in different cartoons but in this film they are portrayed much differently than they are in the films and I will get or not in the films in the cartoons I will get to that get to how they change them in a bit some stuff in here that that a lot of people are not gonna like that are like over the age of, I wanna say, 12 years old, 13 years old. There's a lot of references to like the media and pop culture. There's stuff about Instagram, you name it. It's just really, really, it, it does not work. Cause it's one, if there's one thing I don't wanna hear in a Scooby Doo film is, well, gang, it looks like we got an iPhone in our hands, or like Scoob, check out my TikTok. Or, Raggy, look at my fidget spinner. Don't worry, those aren't my actual impressions. I can do way better. But you will see that later. I do like in this film, and I think that a lot of people did, the, the, the good parts, the good aspects of this movie. Uh, I really like the, uh, the adventure. And again, this isn't like your Scooby-Doo mystery. Well, the first part is, you know, they're children, and how they met, and they solve their first mystery together. That's nice, and they have a little montage reference to the old show which I really really loved I probably squealed like a little girl there um, but uh, yeah that was good I love the superhero action I really love what they did to Dynamite this might be my favorite iteration of Dynamite um, and you know in the old cartoons Dynamite was dim-witted he would malfunction all the time he, he talked like this and in a new one he's, he's the He's the he's the smart one. Well, Blue Falcon is the, the idiot. Like the roles were reversed. Well, granted, this Blue Falcon is the original Blue Falcon's son, and there's a lot of speculation that Dino Mutt, this Dino Mutt is just like an upgrade, so they made him smarter. I don't know, but I just love this Dino Mutt. Uh, I love the Captain Caveman in this film. He's traced by tra he's played by Tracy Morgan, but uh. And he's, he's completely rewritten. Like, most of the characters, other than, like, Dick Dastardly, Mutt Lee, and the Scooby Gang, they're completely rewritten. Like, unrecognizable. But that's not a bad thing to me. The fact that they're even in this film at all is just amazing. And I cherish that. And uh, there are a few emotional parts. They kind of played the, let's just call it the Infinity War card a little too quickly. But uh, it almost had me in tears. I'll be honest. I almost cried. I don't want to get too spoil. I don't want to get too. I don't want to get into spoilers, but uh, yeah, there's. It, it played. It kind of tugged at my heart a little bit. Not gonna lie. My favorite Scooby Doo film. I have two that are competing for the top, and it's an unpopular opinion. I really love this film. It's fighting for the top, but it's it's fighting against uh, Scooby Doo Monsters Unleashed. Scooby Doo Two Monsters Unleashed, and uh, the reason for that is. They both kind of, they feel like the same movie in a way. They throw familiar faces. Like in Monsters Unleashed, it's a classic monster, just rebooted and slightly different. But in this film, it's the Hanna-Barbera characters that do it. Like, that that's what the gimmick is. 
So I'm torn between those two. Sometimes I want to say it's Monsters Unleashed. Sometimes I want to say it's Scoob. But either way, I mean, I really love this film. And I do understand the hate for it, but I loved it. So that's my little mini review slash thoughts on this movie. If you want more of these, I would love to do that. Um, but as of now, I have got some work to do. I'm going to start making those Hanna-Barbera impression videos. But uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.